Space Weather! Looking at a sunspot that never got named. It was a sunspot for a day or two. It had umbra. Apparently too small or not long-lasting enough to be named. Had some interesting activity coming out of it. Some serious plasma action occurring there. And some CMEs. Also, we've got an increased and fluctuating solar wind. An active region rising in the east. Let's look at some other views here. Here's your magnetic lines. You can see some magnetic excitation occurring there. And yeah, magnetically, the sun is a jumbled up mess right now. Check it out in 304 angstroms. There was a small CME in the north northwest limb. Does not appear to be earth facing. And there it goes. Also some big plasma filaments all around. Looks like a CME in the Southeastern limb also. That one might have ended up back on the on the photosphere. Let's look at some data. Head to spaceweathernews.com. And as we predicted in yesterday's report, there was a small X-ray flare, not big enough to be in a B-class, but as those magnetic fields moved away, some of that activity was able to make it to Earth. You can see the phi angle is jumping all around. Let's look at the real time before we get down to the bottom of that list. And there's your real time solar wind. BTBZ is pretty relaxed. Phi angle is bouncing around with any sort of signal still around the 300 range. Density flatlined around 5. And a fluctuating wind speed at about 565 kilometers per second. That's from the old coronal hole. Let's head back to spaceweather.com. Look at the rest of the data here magnetometer spike which was not as high as previous also predicted KP index has been unsettled but between 1 and 4 for the past 36 hours is your electron flux this could soar this probably will head up because that active region's got to be spewing out some x-ray. There's your F2 layer, there's your auroras. There's your solar cycle comparison for people who haven't been following. Check out the earthquake situation. Earthquake risk for California continues. Check in the last eight hours. Got another 5.0 in Tonga. New Zealand got a 4.3. Pakistan, Russia. Tajikistan. They'll be on alert, on alert for a 4.5 because of the depth of that quake. And a 4.9 just rolled in. Moving on to solarham.net. Check out the magnetics. The magnetogram associated with that former sunspot now listed as a plage. Here's the magnetic fields associated with the active region. Nothing resembling a sunspot. No umbra on the sun. It's official. No sunspots. Now, all right, let's look at where the planets are located. I know some people are interested. 
There's your current solar system set up. Venus is gaining on Earth. And Mercury is catching up. While Mars is getting dropped. It's the middle of the night. You can turn around toward the outer solar system and look straight up your anus. Don't have your head up your anus, though. Speaking of heads up anuses, global warming is not real. Climate change is real in that the planet is getting colder. Magnetic fields run the universe and indeed the planet. Let's look at the next 10 days of snowfall in the northern hemisphere. Actually, just North America. Let's see what's going to happen here. This is November 11th through November 21st. Hmm. Looks pretty snowy. What's up? What's up with that? Is that a bunch of snow in Mexico there? Correct. The GFS model predicting snow in Mexico. A solid month before winter begins. What is that, about 40% of the lower 48 states covered with snow? Canada's about 100% covered with snow. For all of you who think the sea ice is melting, let's see what's happened in Greenland in the past month. Just go back a month. I'm going to hit play on this animation and zoom in on the ice volume. Here it goes. See how steep that line is? Rapidly growing ice, and it's not winter yet. Let's stop that and put it where it currently is. See the Northwest Passage? Frozen solid. Look at the steepness of that line. Crossing over previous years except 2014, and well on the way to do that. We know that solar minima are associated with cosmic ray flux increases. Here's your ULU neutron monitor. We've had a little spike in the last day. And we've actually reached the highest cosmic ray level we've had in quite a while, several weeks there, according to ULU. Actually about a week, but one of the higher spikes we've been regularly seeing. Check out Antarctica. There's the two monitors there. So not a whole lot going on. The activity is kind of low despite having an increased solar wind. Would not be surprised if that increased further in the next couple days. And yeah, have your disaster plans ready because the earthquake risk has not expired. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be doing it again tomorrow. And we'll be leaving links to everything, including the music that you've heard which is indeed original. Don't accept any wooden nickels.